everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole with Made From Scrap and today I'm going to do a little walkthrough of the album I created with Graphic 45's well-groomed paper collection. I used some of the stickers, 12 by 12 paper pad, um, some of the patterns and solids, and um, I used the ephemera pack and also the uh, cards pack. So this is the album, the little mini album that I created, and it is seven and a quarter tall, and it is five and, let's see, the top cover is five inches wide, and there are two spines. Those measure one and a half and one and three quarters. So, um, this side is taller than the other. That's what threw me for a loop there. Um, I did hang some seam binding that I tied into a bow here. I used the main paper uh, for the cover and I created a little pocket on the front. This is a uh, pull out tag right here. So I can put a picture of my puppy in there. Um, I used a couple dangles right here on it as well. These are some of the ephemera pack and then that's a little uh, dog charm from my stash. The pocket is created to look like a tuxedo with little pockets here. Let's see if I can get that focused. Right here. And, and then we have, of course, uh, the top pocket right here. I have some gems for the buttons. Um, it's double-sided paper, of course, so I went ahead and folded that over, slid some other uh, paper underneath, and used some ribbon out of my stash for um, the, uh, the bow tie. Um, this is another ephemera piece. I just used some ribbon again out of my stash for this and tied with a little bit of black twine here. Uh, these are a Tim Holtz clip right here and um, mono for the monocle I used also Tim Holtz. I pulled out some chain from my stash and a couple more little um, dangly charms so it would appear as though it's like a pocket watch and a key. So this opens up like this and you have a couple of places for small photos and a name there. Um, you have another piece of ephemera here that you can tuck maybe a journaling tag in along the spine. I did use some of the Spectrum Noir Sparkle for uh, the the coat, the evening coat, and the top hat for him, so that it would have a little bit of sparkle. You can try to see that there, um, so you can kind of see that shimmer. I used the stripe on the side, and this is because my puppy's name is FDR. He's 32nd president. Um, put a little paw print there and then just use some of the stripe pattern on the back side of the album. So let's get started. Uh, when you open this up, on the left hand side there is a double stack pocket and I have a couple of the cards in here so you can see this po these pockets go all the way down right there, so there's plenty of space. I used an edge punch of mine with some black artisan cardstock. Um, I went ahead and, and used another ephemera piece here, and I used a little bit of a chipboard piece underneath to pop it up. This is another one of those cards. I used another piece of black um, cardstock here with an edge punch that I had and stuck some some of these ephemera and cut aparts and some of the cards in. So this is that paper there. Uh, this is the paper that I used underneath the spine or the uh, hinge, I should say. 
Uh, so this is the first page, so you're going to turn the page, and there's a pocket on this side. Again, some of the ephemera pieces, some of the cut apart pieces from the pages. Um, here's some more cut aparts for that pocket. I'm sorry, not cut aparts, but um, cards for that pocket. And then this opens up again, and I divided this page so I could put a couple of photos here. I created a belly band um, on this front part, and then I used a piece of the uh, cutout that I created from um, one of the other flips, a circle punch, and I used this as a tuck spot to help hold these items in place underneath this belly band. Um, Okay, and then that's the first page. And the second page, I have these dueling flaps on the front. So I can put a couple of pictures, you know, one here. I left it open a little bit to tuck something underneath. This is the back side. I used that card. Again, I popped up one of the ephemera pieces. These are also ephemera pieces. On the back side of that, there's another card and a place for a photo. There's another location here where I use some of the ephemera and I kept these open underneath so I can uh, put a photo underneath there as well. Then when you close this up, you can open it again. And nice big open space for photographs. On this page, I did some cutting with a straight, with a straight blade my X-Acto knife in order to be able to tuck a picture behind or, or a piece like this behind. Okay, then I flip that second page and see it here. Um, again, another ephemera piece that I've stuck up, um, backed with some chipboard elements. This opens this way. Again, you can tuck a photo underneath these ephemera pieces. Here's one of the cards that I used and I punched out with my circle punch um, on this flap so I could have it as a pocket. I just glued three sides like that. And then this opens this way. And I used another card here with a magnet closure, a magnet as a closure, um, and then stuck a couple other of the cut aparts down there. Again, I used on this flap one of those cards and used my circle punch to make it another pocket. Here's another ephemera piece. Open this flap up. Another one of those cards and another space for uh, some pictures. And that closes. On the back of the album, you have this page right here, which again, I went ahead and put a pocket in. I divided up the uh, look of that pocket on the front with um, part of the photo that I, of the paper that I wanted to highlight. And I put this little frame on here and I used some, you can see that, that it's glossy. I used glossy accents on it. I created another little spot for a picture. And then this, of course, the cards will slide in and out. This opens up. Again, you have a tuck spot here for some pictures. You have a couple of flaps here. I use some of the stickers. This is the top flap. And you can put something underneath there. And then this is the bottom flap. I just used again some of the sticker. And then this opens up again this way. And these are some of the stickers, the pennants right here. And another sticker right here. That again, I just backed the top part of this with some paper in order to um, allow it not to be sticky on the top section of the sticker. Okay, and then when you close that up, I get back to the end, and that is the little folio. I hope you have enjoyed it, and 
you make one of your own. I think this is a fun paper to use and I hope to see you back here soon. Have a good day. Happy crafting. Bye.